So hello, welcome back again to my channel. I'm starting from Bricks of version 1.9.6. It has a new feature, even though it's still experiment feature, but I think that's really cool. That is a query sort, filter, and lip search. Um, yeah, you can read more about this feature on the website on their website, but I will show you something. If I I've put the filter on the slider, the stable slider here. Uh, I have this. If you, if you see my screen, I have the filter radio and with the target of my slider, an stable slider. And uh, I, uh, it has the query loop for my custom post type. Uh, maybe some of you uh, will uh, experience an uh, issue same like me, which is if you uh, click the uh, one of the button or, or the input or the radio or whatever is is it uh, whatever it is um, see the slider is broken yes I know it's still experimental I will repeat this is um, since it's experimental feature yeah it uh, the user might be or uh, could be have experience uh, something like bug or uh, yeah, whatever it is but uh, if uh, you don't want to wait for the bug fix uh, you don't want you, you but uh, you need uh, the function right now uh, I have some solution for you so let's say hey, let's see it's on this simple uh, JavaScript wait <laughs> which one is that oh yeah here uh, i will share the link on my description video here is the script uh, you only need to put it on your uh, code widget or on your uh, um, maybe you can put it on footer using some a function or whatever it is up to you uh, but i i i, I will expect uh, um, explain it a little bit the first um the error if you take a look at this uh, i will uh, reload it first you can see the class name of element on the supplied there is a, like uh, data id role something like that many attribute uh, which is generated by the supplied javascript but as soon as you click the um, filter all this is all uh, the supply the, the, the supply javascript is not uh, reinitialization itself uh, how should i how should i spell it initial initialize initialize yeah it doesn't reinitialize itself so uh, there are many attribute is missing and then the script is not um, yeah, like I said, it's not reinitialized itself. Uh, luckily, Splite has um, oh, apa namanya? Refresh has a uh, event. We can listen to event, and we can use uh, this refresh event. I yeah, I, I'm not sure the term, but I think. Uh, we can refresh it when uh, the ayak is um, done the ayak filtering is done or we can listening to uh, because if I click here see uh, you can see on the ULID BRXA filter radio if I click one of them um, the class name is like uh, there will be a, a like it's toggling itself it's it's creating class name uh, if you can see it's flashing yeah brxa um, filter disable and then uh, it it add the class and then remove the class from um, maybe like a millisecond but we can listen to this element and listen to if the child the child element has um, some changes some change and then we can refresh the slider to reinitialize itself. Alright, 
so um, this is the script uh, which I asked before uh, to chat with the AI and let's let's just copy and see on, on, on the builder for this tutorial I will use only code widget okay okay uh, let's see on the script because I explain oh, yeah uh, no no this one okay the first is we need to target um, the sprite so we can uh, what is the term like injecting the the, the the event to the existing uh, slider um, this is sprite id and let's see uh, what is the id of my slider um, data script id okay just copy this and put it here okay and this is wrapped by the function refresh slide and if you see on the bottom if you scroll down to the bottom okay i uh, i made some and you need a other function the first it will target the uh apa namanya this filter radio parent element so this is the id of the parent element uh, of the filter radio so let's uh, back to front end and let's see okay and this is the filter element and this is the parent id the parent uh, the, uh, the parent element okay and let's just copy this and put here so this is you as you can see this is the structure of the widget the filter is wrapped by the div and this is the important because um uh, the script uh, I use is to listen to the child of this div which is the filter radio okay and then this is the same uh, this is the target query and blah 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 you can set it by yourself I think it doesn't matter um, let's go back to code and let's see okay yeah, I think it's done <coughs> I think it's done only, only like that so just like save it or you can uh, you might uh, delete this console later uh, it's only for debugging i only need to see what happened so you can just like delete the console log here delete the console log here oh yeah and then uh, there is the important thing you have to um, add a class name supplied double underscore slide to the um to the slide <laughs> yeah so, something like that because this is uh, mandatory because um, the apa namanya the the when the sprite is refreshing itself it will find the uh, element with the class name sprite track uh, and the sprite list and the sprite slide if we don't add the class name sprite slide then it 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 it, it will not know where where is the list where is the the child of, of the supplied list so the slider won't, uh, will not work i believe so um okay let's do load and okay i forget to execute the code okay so i save it and yep let's see yep <laughs> you can see the title yeah don't don't, don't see the background see the title project a project a project a because there is only one uh, post inside uh, in the landing page taxonomy if i click content creator okay there is two posts which is the project c project b it has two uh, post up uh, uh, post item and if i click all category it should show a uh, three of them project a project b and project c something like that so uh, this is uh, the temporary solution until the uh, filter feature is really really stable on the next release I, I believe I think maybe I'm not sure uh, which version it is but um, you can use this script if you really need to use a filter on 
uh, with the uh, slider with the nest table slider and yeah maybe that's it all i think uh, i hope this can help you in some way thank you for watching and happy coding bye bye